Hey, this is just a quick bike check of our daughter's new 20 inch bike. She came off of a 16 inch Prevello Zulu 2, which is absolutely awesome. But at the cost of upgrading her to a 20 inch of, and spending $1,000 versus uh, this co op REI Rev 20, which came online in the Facebook marketplace for, you know, $200, I figured I would pick this up and then make a few changes to you know, make it more comfortable for her. So handful of changes right out of the gate to make it more like her, her old uh, Zulu 16, uh, Zulu 2 16 inch bike. Now the Geos aren't the same. Compared to the Zulu, this is a 69 degree head tube angle versus you know 66 degrees, 67 degrees. Uh, the seat post isn't quite as upright, so this is a, a relaxed 71 degrees, I think, versus the Zulu's like 74, 75. Um, but, you know, for the money, and this has pretty good ratings, the biggest con, I think, is the weight, which this thing originally was like 23 pounds, whereas the Zulu in a 16 was like 18 pounds, something like that, so considerably heavier, but... We are talking about going from a single speed 16 to a 20 inch with six speeds. So let's get on with the upgrades, starting here at the cockpit. One, uh, you might have noticed I went full SDG. So this wasn't the kit. I couldn't find the kit, so I had to source the parts individually. But the SDG fly saddle, which was also narrower, longer, more comfortable, so she says, and very uh, similar in dimensions to what came off of her Zulu. The one that was on this bike originally, which I don't have, seemed like it was way wide, much wider actually, and just not comfortable for, for her. Um, I swapped out <laughs> the seat post clamp here from the Zulu. This is a 27-2 seat post. So now I can quickly raise and lower the seat at any given point versus using the screw from the original uh, Rev20 um, bike. Uh, I did say I'd start up at the cockpit, but here I am. So I matched it with their pedals, pink and pink. I found some vinyl from Michaels, um, and I just cut strips out and replaced or overlay this um, over the red stripes that were here because she was a fan of pink. So we got pink here, pink here, pink here. Didn't do this. That's still red. But carrying the pink theme over, we went the SDGs. Slater handlebar. So the big thing about this is that it is a 19 millimeter diameter bar and therefore can use narrower grips. So with these narrower grips, that will allow her to grab a hold all the way around versus a fraction of the way around. I thought as a stopgap, I would use these ESI chunkies, which were the thinnest ones they had, or just the ESI grips. But even those are considerably thicker Maybe it doesn't show up quite how thick they are uh, on camera, but she couldn't wrap her hand all the way around it and grab the brakes, onto the brakes. This came with Tektro cable brakes. Her Zulu had hydraulic Tektros. So I picked up these. I wasn't really looking to spend Dior 6120 money, but the, the, the great thing about these 6120s, Sorry, 6100s, they're not the four pistons. <laughs> that would be baller for her bike. Uh, they are just the two piston 6100s. And the levers on these allow for a great range of reach adjustment. So you can see, this is probably like a 50 millimeter uh, reach offset right now. She has plenty of room to grab these with one hand and makes for super comfortable uh, braking position and uh, ability to have plenty of power without fatigue on small hands. The other thing you'll probably notice is this shifter. So rather than the grip shifter, this is a Shimano, I don't even know if this is really Shimano made or what, but it is super easy to use and shift gears. All you gotta do to downshift or to upshift, downshift is to tap on this, it takes next to no effort, awesome. And then to go the other direction, uh, is just a thumb shifter, which you can actually put your palm on and push. So major upgrades as far as 
just usability from a very small kid's perspective. One that's upgrading from a 16 to a 20 and is maybe borderline, um, you know, right size for a bike like this. Otherwise, that's it. You know, I, I, I kept the tires the same. The reflectors are on there. So there it is. Um, the biggest upgrade I think is, is definitely to the, to the brakes going hydraulic. I mean, I think all of these are high value, um, modifications. And while the cost of this used co-op RF20 was about $200, you know, it's 50% of what a new one is. And then the cost of the pedals and all the upgrades is about another 150. So call it 350 in, uh, plus the brakes, which I scored for a hundred. Um, 450 in, I think, is a lot of bike for the money and half the cost of a uh, Zulu or Womb, um, even though some of those do have a, a front fork. So, yeah, uh, there it is. She did really good on this bike on her kind of, we'll call it the maiden uh, trail voyage on single track yesterday. Uh, more of that to come, but uh, it's a start and there it is. So questions, comments, I'll, I'll take them. All right. Thanks everybody.